Uh, interesting point Thomas just brought up, Daxter. That Daxter. I remember. I remember the sound of that and what that made me feel a long time ago. That fuck gold. Don't. I, I, he was like, it's it's a joke. It's a quack. You know, there's no medical studies that prove that it's good for you, so it's not good for you. It's basically, what he's saying is, I don't believe it until there's a study that comes out that tells me that it's that that's what it is. So, firstly, you got to understand. John D. Rockefeller, when they had when they installed their coup in 1913, built the Federal Reserve. They formed a, a financial system, a medical system, and a school system, and they started teaching people how to become followers, uh, not business owners. We didn't learn how to become business owners in school. We learned how to work for corporations and to follow orders. And the medical industry is all about they make their own medicine and sell it, and they want to keep you on this medicine long term, uh, get you you know. Get your, your 30 day prescription every month filled. That's it's it's a profit. It's all about money for them. It's not about actually healing everyone. People would be healed if the largest health organization in the world was actually adamantly healing people. People would actually be healed and there may not be a need for it anymore. They see that they're not going to make themselves obsolete. You have to make them obsolete. Gold is an amazing metal. You, people wear gold jewelry. The kings used to have gold crowns because it would soak through their skin and keep them alive and healthy. There's plenty of evidence of, of, I guess you call it anecdotal, because it wasn't done by, like, a PhD in medicine, the guy that went to fucking college and was taught that cutting something off is the best way to heal it, or it's better to just prescribe someone some pills than let them talk through it or maybe eat some spinach. You need iron? Eat an iron pill. This is, it rather you know, you get the occasional doctor that will prescribe food. Like, there's a guy, like, in Jersey... He was a doctor, and he basically gave it all up to start an organic farm, and now he has a hospital where they serve organic, they prescribe organic food in addition to medicines, other medicines. So if you start thinking of food, well, first of all, you got to start thinking of metal as a dietary supplement. We are built of metal, lots of it. Phosphorus, which I don't know if it's technically metal, zinc, copper, iron. And, like, where do you draw the line? Gold. Copper is an ins extremely important dietary supplement. And I'm just telling you from personal experience, silver is an antibiotic. The reason why gold is so valuable is because it's good for you. It wasn't the way it looked. And it wasn't the swords and shields it could make because it couldn't make swords and shields. It was because it was kept people alive. It was a very healthy. And you probably didn't learn that because why would, why would the people that own all the gold tell you that? Because they want to acquire it for themselves. And I'm, not, I'm trying not to hypothesize about they and us. I'm just saying there's a reason why we weren't taught from kids that, oh, gold's also a dietary supplement. Make sure you get enough gold. So your point, thank you for making it. I hope you know about the Rockefeller medical industry. You should study it more if you don't. It's insidious, my man.